Hey guys, uh, right, in the last video, uh, what did we do? Oh yeah, we assessed a uh, tight job. Now, I've taken over the Volvo x Racer already, uh, as you probably would have t uh, figured by now. However, uh, I've had a brainwave. The Volvo doesn't have a chain hookup on the bucket. Which, may, which effectively ensured me that I can't unload the trailers uh, with all the gear on. So what I may do, I may head back in the Scania 143, uh, get the kit, uh, get the little air, bring that back up here. Sorry, I must try and attempt to move the camera slightly. Get the loop air in. Hmm, hold on. Where's the. Rum machine. Alright. What? Let me reset it. Hang on. Oh, I remember. Right. Sorry, I've only turned the volume up. Go on. Uh, sorry, I think I really hurt it off not being able to do a huge amount because uh, I suppose. I took the truck this morning to, very, very early this morning, to Scania for its inspection. Uh, which was an interesting drive. Nope. I had to uh, cold start the truck and uh, yeah, it did not want to start. Right, I am going... Actually, I've had a best right here. I've had a really good right here. It's going to be risky, but I've had an right here. Oops. Where's the blue flatbed gone? I'm going to keep the big blue flatbed low loader because the lib air I can unload reasonably easily. I'm going to use that because in that way I can take both extra races in one go. If I can find it. Where's it gone? Um, I could take an Arctic Tipper as well, but after judging by the tightness of, actually after delivering the last bit of kit, I think we might be safer just leaving this one. Ooh. So, where is the little bit, where is the little bit? I'll go the little bit first and then I'll come back for the Volvo. Actually, hang on a minute. Let me nip over to the side because I had a minor mishap with it. I just want to see if that's reset and the fin. Uh, oh, I'll go that way, apparently. Whee! Uh, there's a bit of a dip here, that's going to be a problem. Let me just reset this job and on. This we will get at some point. Uh, yes, please. That's better. 
Uh, right. Down here, one, four, three. I would have used uh, the cat, but the driveway. I can get the cat up it, but it's a little too close for comfort for my liking. Uh, X and Z. Now, actually, I've had a better idea. I've had a really good idea. Uh, most of all, I just did bits of second storage because I've just had a fantastic idea. The little five ton machine I can fit. On as well as the as well as the Volvo. So that is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I should uh, try and move this. I'll bring up the ramp slightly. Nope. Uh, Q. So it's just a steel beam I ran into. Uh, um, yeah guys, at the time of recording there is no videos next week. Uh, I will be filming but yeah, there won't be anything posted as uh, it is my week off. So um, yeah, I, I just need to recharge my batteries a bit and just catch up on editing and stuff. But uh, because I'm, I'm... Wow. Because I'm flying solo, because I uh, do everything myself, filming and ed editing, you can get really drained really quite easily, and uh, I think that's what's just happening. I think I just need to have a bit of a... Boom up. Uh, I running this machine. <laughs> really do hate it. The advantage is though with this machine is we can probably risk getting up on the top bed of the uh, low loader. This is why I really hate because this will really flip up high. And it isn't the most stable bit of gear we've got. Oh, reverse. Reverse again. Reset. Boom's, uh, boom controls aren't working. There we go.
There we go. If I put the machine on the lower part, it would be more useful, but if, if I can't, I can't. Even if it's a 360, I want to keep the cab really sort of in my position if I can help it. Oh, walk forwards. Oh yeah, heap this race. Uh, Q. We can and this one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wee. Back space. Right. Different plan. I up. Curtain cider. I'll use that instead. Um, I've got one thing to pick up en route. Uh, which I'm hoping I can lift with this high up. Uh, beacons. I'll know when the beacons are on because you'll see see the symbol on the dash. Uh, be tight. Oh, you stupid person! You can see that I'm coming. Wow. Oh! Right, what I'll do, because I'm. I'll borrow my boat to the 50 outriggers. Ow. I'll, I'll see the zippers actually. Uh, right, let's head over to the site. It's about a 40 minute drive. So I will talk to you guys when we get nearer the site. Do you have music, guys? Talk to you in a bit. Right, the side's just up the road here. 
Um, I'm gonna have to check the machine up probably, so I need to pull sort of out of my sticky situation I'm in and track all the way up there. I know I've boomed out, but I need to be ideally. Sorry guys, bit of a rinse and repeat here. To be fair, I've got a better idea. Leave this down here because I may need it for another job. What I'll do is I'll just quick throw this up there. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, I had a few issues uh, which I've cut. Um, I've taken the low load back to the yard, um, got up to the bottom of the access road and yeah, it all just went pear shaped. So I've cut all that recording um, stuck. No! You stupid thing. Um, anyway, right, I've now got that sorted. The 143 is back at the yard. I need to go and get a trailer. And I also need to get some tippers up here. So I've scooped up Let me reset the stage again Sorry guys, for a sec Preparation for any big dig job like this. We've got another big dig job uh, uh, next week, actually, believe it or not. Um, unfortunately, this one, uh, someone decided to uh, overfill something and it's left. No. Next week, we've got a public uh, swimming pool contract job in a few weeks' time. I believe we might have a public contract, so uh, we'll have to see on that one. What I'm thinking is I'll just have everything come up this access road backwards, apart from the Arctic, uh and the curtain side of the trailer. Because what I can do is I can, yeah. I'll do that. Might be easier. Because what I can do is I can use this on the far side, scoop it over this, I can, I'll work it out. But... Really. 
it's either that or they no tab. Tab. It's there. Do 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 do. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to more focus and uh, digging out the mess I've made. You know what, let's just restart this stage again. Right, so at least now I know sort of positioning and everything. That we can work angles out and everything. Um yeah, I've requested no Arctic tippers, however, I've only got two available rigid tippers. <laughs> and the one of the two is not working properly for some strange reason. Oh! I don't know why, but for some reason the big one out of the two, I've got two, I've got several 32 summers, some of them are, out, are busy or out for service as we call them, which means they're probably in the quarry being test, tested for the suspension. Uh, right when you need it. So, I am going to have to 